LaMelo Ball and the Charlotte Hornets finally faced off against Kawhi Leonard and the LA Clippers and lost 125 to 98 and LaMelo Ball suffered a wrist injury that made him sit out for most of the game as he only played 21 minutes and it comes to a surprise as LaMelo's been healthy all season and hasn't gotten any injuries and now he has a wrist injury but in this video we're going to talk about how severe the injury is the coach's response as we do have an interview clip and we're going to take a look at the actual injury itself and analyze it but before we get on to the video please make sure to subscribe hit that like button and turn on those post notifications we're dropping daily amazing content so you don't want to miss out turn on those bell notification and with all that being said let's get right into the video. Before I show you guys the clip, let's talk about LaMelo's stats. He had 13 points, 2 assists, and 5 rebounds in 22 minutes. Again, the injury made him only play 22 minutes. And I'm going to roll the clip of the injury. It does look like he was in pain the whole game, but I'm going to roll it right now. Took a fall here in the second quarter. Right there, you see guys up to break their fall with their hands and the wrist. And that Working on the wrist. You guys saw it right there. LaMelo Ball's clearly injured and his wrist was showing discomfort. He even was on the sideline getting it taped up, getting it wrapped up uh, by the medical staff. And I do believe he went to the locker room to get it checked out after. But he did take a hard fall. He just fell on it the wrong way. And the whole game, I mean... He battled through it though. He was playing in the third quarter, which I don't know why, what James Borrego was thinking. You were down by like 30 or 20 points and you're playing LaMelo Ball with a hurt wrist in the fourth quarter. That just makes no sense. That's bad coaching. But let's talk about the injury. It doesn't look that bad. Uh, Max, I think, is going to be out for at least one week. But again, I do believe they are going to do the MRI or scans today and we will get more news today. So make sure to subscribe because I'm going to give you guys the update right as we get the news. But hopefully LaMelo Ball is better but honestly, I think that if LaMelo's out for more than a week, it is going to affect the MVP race because right now, Anthony Edwards is going crazy in Minnesota and he's not slowing down. His games have been going absolutely up. Uh, he's been improving his scoring, playmaking, assisting. So um, honestly, if LaMelo Ball sits out, uh, the playmaking, the rookie of the year race is going to change drastically and LaMelo Ball might actually lose it. But hopefully LaMelo comes back as, I mean, he was playing through it. So it doesn't seem like it's that bad if he was able to play through it. He was making some nice passes still. And, you know, that's the ball mentality, man. He didn't quit. Uh, his wrist was injured and he kept playing. But let's talk about James Burgo. Why was James Burgo playing LaMelo in the fourth quarter when they're down by 30 and LaMelo has a hurt wrist? That just makes no sense to me. If that doesn't prove that this coach is delusional, I don't know to, what to say to you guys, but I'm going to roll the clip of James Brego giving us an update. Nope. JB, I know that when it came to LaMelo going down with that wrist, it was kind of something he had to kind of play through and you pushed him through. Was that more of just a pain tolerance thing or uh, what, can, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, I don't have an update for you yet. I'll, I'll talk to Joe Sharp and uh, I'm sure we'll have more of an update tomorrow on that. Um, it looked to me like he was having some discomfort there. So, you know, I took him out and that's all I know right now. Uh, we'll know more tomorrow. Danny? You know, if James Brigo really knew that LaMelo was having discomfort, why was LaMelo Ball playing in the fourth quarter for a decent amount? You know, everybody could clearly see watching the game. LaMelo kept touching his wrist. It was taped up and he was passing with his left hand. LaMelo Ball did a full court pass with his left hand. Uh, he usually would have thrown that with his right and James Brego is delusional enough to not even notice that and still play him in the fourth quarter when they're down by 20 to the Clippers. There was no coming back and uh, I don't know guys. Comment down below what you guys think of James Brego in this situation. If I was the head coach, I would have benched LaMelo. You know, he's hurt. Uh, they're, they're probably not going to get back in this game as the Clippers were up by 20. So yeah, man. Uh, honestly, I hope LaMelo Ball's injury gets better. Uh, I don't think it's as severe as everyone thinks, but again, the MIR results will come back in today. Um, honestly, the rookie race, if LaMelo's out, it's going to be a tighter one because right now LaMelo's in the lead by a lot, so hopefully it does not affect it much. But uh, this is honestly the first time we've seen LaMelo, uh, you know, hurt or injured in his NBA career, I guess you could say so, because he hasn't really been hurt 
Um, he had a little bit of an ankle tweak, but he didn't miss any games because of that. So hopefully LaMelo Ball doesn't miss any games. And now let's talk about the actual game and the box score against the LA Clippers. In this game, LaMelo Ball and the Charlotte Hornets were facing a tough back-to-back -back schedule with the LA Lakers and the uh, LA Clippers. So in this game, you know, it wasn't really all that exciting to watch. PJ Washington, 6 points. Gordon Hayward, 17 points, 8 and 4. Biombo, he started because Zeller was out with a hip contusion, I believe. Uh, so he was a starter. LaMelo Ball, 13 points. 5 rebounds and 2 assists in 22 minutes. Again, he was injured, so he didn't really play most of the game. Uh, so we have to give him an ex exception. He, Even though he's played probably the best on this team, which is kind of sad, especially you paid Gordon Hill with the max contract to only score 17 points. Terry Rozier, 8 points, 5 assists and 3 rebounds. What happened to Terry, man? It seems like some nights he's going out for 40, and the other night he can't even score double digits. But... On the bench, nobody provided much except Miles Bridges, 21 points. Um, he did have four fouls, uh, three rebounds, and four assists. I've been saying this ever since the start of the season. Miles Bridges needs to start over PJ Washington. That's just how I personally feel. Um, uh, Devontae Graham off the bench, 11 points, you know, three assists, and one rebound in 18 minutes. So this Hornets team was just outmatched. Let's look at the Clippers box score. Kawhi, 17, four steals, four assists, and three rebounds. Um, you know, the whole starters, they almost every starter scored in double digits. Paul George, 21 points, 10 assists, and 5 rebounds. And then even the bench. Look at the bench depth, bench, bench depth that the Clippers have. Uh, look how many players scored double digits. You know, everybody basically scored a lot in this game off the bench. Um, Man had 16. Uh, Williams, 15 points. You know, Nicholas Batum, 11 points. So, the, honestly, the Hornets were unmatched this game, uh, and they just couldn't do it much, especially with LaMelo Ball being out for most of the game. It was just hard to come back and compete, but let me know what you guys think of LaMelo Ball's wrist injury. Do you guys believe it's serious? Do you guys think it's going to come back? How long do you think it's going to be out for? Uh, judging on the fall, my prediction is about a week. If not, then I believe he's just going to be back next game, but... Hopefully, LaMelo Ball gets better. This is going to end up the video. As always, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on those post notifications. We just hit 4,000 subscribers, so thanks to everybody showing love. And with all that being said, I'm out. Peace.